What are the darkest songs in Osu? That's a question that I had while I was listening to my favorite music on the bus. I stumbled across this translation of this song, and while I was listening along, I came across this line. And when I heard that, I got chills down my spine. I've always played this song many times while playing Osu, but I never really understood what the song meant because I don't speak Japanese. But it's moments like these that really make me think retrospectively about the certain topics of the song at hand. And that's what I want to do today in this video. I've compiled five of my favorite songs on Osu that really made me change the way that I listen to them. And hopefully it'll make you change the way you listen to them too. Also, this list isn't in any particular order, and these are all my interpretations of the song based off of translations that I found on the internet. Starting off with number 5, Racing Into the Night by Yosobi. The story is beautiful, and it's outright heartbreaking to hear the lyrics. Behind the amazing instrumentals and voice, it tells a story about a couple trying to find happiness in the mundane life through themselves. But you see, the problem is that this girl isn't happy. She's depressed and she hates everything and doesn't smile like ever. And this guy just really likes her and wants to try his best to make her as happy as possible. He wants to be able to fix her. And throughout the entire story, she's had this little ominous mask that just never comes off. Remember this mask because it's going to be important later on in the story. And as the song continues, you start to understand that the guy does not have that much self-worth in himself and he hates the way that she looks at him because he does not think that he is the perfect person that she sees him as. All of these moments together accumulate and it comes crashing down when the girl eventually says, He eventually just gives in and reveals that he feels the same way that she does. She wants to end it all and so does he as the little mask forms as he finally reveals his true intentions. This song is really unsettling to read through. I mean, the entire story is about a couple's psychological spiral into suicide, ending off the song with... It just goes to show you that not every story has the perfect ending, but still a beautiful story captured by Yosobi regardless, as it's gotten a combined 26 million plays on Osu, and currently sits at one of the most popular songs in the game. Just like the next song on this list, number 4, I'm getting on the bus to the other world, see ya, bye to you. This song is especially interesting because it actually has an entire two-part story and it's also famously known in Osu for being Emrek's top play, which was the world record at the time. The song is about Bus Chen, a girl who has immense regret in her life about how terrible she was as a person. She likes to mask her emotions by acting cheerful when, in reality, she's just a girl who's lost all meaning in life.
She can't be happy with herself because she feels like she's ruined too many lives as a kid. She also starts lamenting about her bullying back as a kid, where she wasn't able to defend herself. And she straight up doesn't believe in the theory of happiness because these words of affirmation don't mean anything to her. Buschan genuinely feels like she's a hindrance to other people and doesn't want to live anymore. Yet, at the end of the day, she just hides all these feelings and just pretends like everything's normal. She pretends like she isn't a failure to society like she thinks she is. And because of that reason, she thinks that the only way to solve all her problems is to just end her life. <laughs> But you see, the problem is that she keeps on living with these thoughts harboring within her. Symbolized by the guitar solo, there's a bunny plush on the screen that passes by and it looks like it's hurt. The bunny on the screen represents herself as bunnies tend to symbolize fear and nervousness. Her backpack probably means that she's still going to school while her umbrella seems like she's still sorrowful. But eventually, as the days go by, she finally breaks. In her case, she feels like she can't be saved because there are no dreams in her life. Her main goal is to end her life because otherwise she feels like she'll be suffering for the rest of it. And it is her one and only fight that she takes upon herself. She ended up regretting everything, and honestly, that ending is just really sad. So, if you made it to this part of the video, apparently, if I say give this video a like, YouTube will highlight the actual like button for you to make it easier to see. So again, if I say smash the like button, hopefully it did something cool. Anyways, moving on. Number 3 is Hibana, one of my personal favorite vocalo songs of all time. The song introduces Miku, who is currently in a relationship where she is extremely unsatisfied and wants to break up. This is because she feels like her partner is an empty husk, a wall of sorts, because her partner doesn't want to have any hard conversations. And because of this, they tend to choose the easy way out. If she ever has problems with the relationship, her partner will always just give her advice that would cause her the least amount of resistance. Which isn't bad, but it makes the relationship feel empty. Miku then goes on to reveal what she truly wants in this relationship. She wants to actually feel something, and she wants to be filled with anxiety because otherwise, she feels incomplete. The word hibana means spark, so Miku is essentially trying to give this relationship the spark that it's missing for her. The fire that she truly desires in a relationship. The toxicity from her own partner. This whole thing is just tragic and reflects the feelings of those who have been affected by abuse in relationships. What I find funny about this whole song though, is the fact that Deku was somehow able to slip in references from Rainbow Six Siege, while also keeping with the theme of the song.
This makes me think that at the beginning of the song, Miku's partner was actually trying to tell her to mute her teammates' communications. And if that's true, then that just adds so much more complexity to the story because Miku probably thinks that her partner is just a coward. <laughs> Because instead of her partner actually defending Miku inside the game, he just tells her to mute it. And this all adds an extra layer of emotion to the song. Number two is from Undercover, Caught Up in a Love Song by Foreground Eclipse. This song is about love, delusion, and trying to find closure. It's intense. In terms of the way the music sounds and the maps that came from it in Osu, this is also one of the deeper songs that I had to dig through to really understand what the song meant. This song is about a cold-hearted girl who was emotionless, empty, and filled with hatred until she developed a crush and fell in love. And although this seems promising and all, there's a problem with this. You see, the longer that this girl hangs out with this guy, the bigger her delusions start to grow. And this is an issue because she gets super, super attached to this person and from the looks of it, her delusions are starting to push this person away. It begins to unravel the more you listen to the song. The more you listen to it, the more you start to realize that she's being neglected and is outright being abandoned by her lover, and she just wants to be acknowledged by them. And I believe the song reflects that issue perfectly. The fact that she's devolving herself into delusion just makes the song even more sad, with this ending here that just leaves such a sad note. And finally, the number one song on this list is Yume Chizu, a hidden story about escape and sacrifices. The story is about an attempt at uprising from someone whose dreams have been crushed and life has been tangled in failure. It starts off with them trying to desperately find a way to break free from their unhappy life, only for them to realize that their attempt to break free and happiness would only take them so far. Later on in the song, as the story continues, she finally breaks through these walls that she says she's been trying to climb over and is close to attaining her goal. But now that she's here, she starts to forget her starting point, which really upsets her. But as she finally climbs those walls, she realizes that her dreams are right there in front of her. This thought is then broken by the scenery. When she looks at it, it looks exactly the same as she'd imagine it. Now, this character is 
faced with a choice. She had finally left her standing point and is now staring into the face of her dreams. The ending of the song is pretty sad in contrast to the music playing in the background. This essentially hints at the character finally accepting and realizing her dreams at the cost of leaving behind her starting point and everything she built up. No, my question is, is it worth leaving behind everything in order to realize your dreams? Forgetting your own past and leaving everything else behind, good and bad, to realize your dream? I honestly don't have any idea. You guys can let me know in the comments. But now, if you really want to help me realize my dreams, you can click this video here and watch another one of my videos. Thank you. Goodbye.